You too. Okay, I guess we're still selling it. Uh, I'm not selling it. As long as I'm on there. That's one of the few songs that I do not like. This this conversation is going to be tough because the stoner community can sometimes miss the ball on this, and they do. I like the stoner community. I don't get stoned, obviously, anymore, but I like the community. I like where they're trying to go, but they're, they're missing the ball on this. Now, this is a different conversation for people who use weed for medical reasons and recreational reasons, right? to get to a different state. <sighs> so let's go ahead and have this conversation. Is getting high wrong? Well, let me ask you this. What is the purpose of getting high? Are you getting high to escape stress? Is that a bad thing? Mm -hmm. Are you getting high to go into this false reality? No. Are you getting high to become your true self? I think what happens too much when it comes to the TAC, and even I thought this way at one time, is people really do think that when they get high all the time, just like somebody who thinks they get drunk all the time, you think you become your true self. It breaks down those barriers, right? You know, I think people get to this fine line of having a stressful life and having anxiety and this isn't everybody but let's just let's just talk imagine somebody who has really bad anxiety right they think that when they get high right that because there maybe their anxiety goes down or something that they become their true self and there is some something to that but there's a different there's a completely different argument when you think that you become you're not yourself when you're not high now that is where the issue really comes in if you can just lower your anxiety and just get it there, okay. But the problem is what ends up happening is people start getting high so often to lower this anxiety that they actually try to escape the anxiety. Anytime anxiety starts to even fill their heart, they feel like they gotta get high. To they don't even want to deal with the anxiety. They don't want to feel that that those thoughts of man, I'm gonna die one day. They don't want to feel those thoughts if I'm worried about tomorrow. They don't want to feel those thoughts. And I understand how crippling they become. I've had days where I spent, guys, I've had days where I woke up at eight o'clock in the morning and I sat in my bed or on my couch until 11 o'clock at night, not even moving. My anxiety was so bad. I get the feeling of wanting to get high to escape that. But even I had to come to a realization that if I get high every time I feel an ounce of anxiety, I will never be able to deal with it. Because anytime I'm not high, I'm going to have anxiety about not having weed. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you're a person who gets high all the time, you get anxious about not having weed. Anytime you're about to run out, because not everybody can afford to buy ounces on ounces. When you're about to run out of weed, you get anxious. You know, I know I can't live without weed and you'll do anything to get it. I've seen it. I've done it. You'll ask to borrow some money. you go over to a friend's house to go uh, smoke their weed. You'll do anything you can to make sure you stay in this reality, this person you are now. You know, I always say this, and I, I, there's a movie called Limitless. And at the time when he stops taking the pills, right? These pills that make him completely himself, all the, he can remember everything. He has great memory, makes him super smart, right? because he can learn so quickly there's a part where he always talks about i can feel when he stops taking the pills he goes i can feel the pain behind my eyes and i always think about that now like when you start to come down off that high and people don't understand like they come up when you smoke weed daily and you're high from sun up to sundown one people think they're sober the next day if they don't smoke weed no it takes your body quite a bit of time especially if you have been smoking for a while to become completely sober and you know what it's gonna feel like a nightmare especially if you've not dealt with your anxiety so i think when you're getting high to always avoid any inkling of anxiety or any inkling of stress you just want to be in this state of oh bro 
I'm just chill, man. I'm just living. I I want to be high. I don't want to deal with no BS. But you have to do that every day. Yes, I think you got you you've gone too far. Because what ends up happening in the stoner community, um, when people are getting high all the time, the stoner community kind of makes these jokes, but they're very real. There's always some truth in a joke. But they make the joke of, I got to get high just to do the laundry. There's a joke, there's a meme that goes around. It says, I get high. I get high. Um, No, it says, you get high to have fun. I get high just to do the laundry. We're different. And stoners will take that as like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What that means is you're not, you can't even function without being high. What does that sound like to you? If it was, if it was not marijuana, just because, and the argument is because you can't overdose on marijuana. Okay. But if that was any other drug or any other drink and you told somebody, I cannot function without being high. Replace marijuana with something else. What would you call that person? An addict. See, this is what people don't understand. You can get addicted to being high. And people don't think that's true. Okay, if you don't think that's true, stop getting high. Take a tolerance break. If you believe that you are not addicted to being high and you're a person who smokes from sun up to sundown, stop smoking. See what it's like living not high. Let that anxiety hit you like a ton of bricks. Let yourself get worried. Let that panic attack come on. You understand real quickly that you are using weed in order to escape most times. You're going to understand how hard it is to sleep without it. You're going to understand how hard it is to eat without smoking marijuana. You're going to find out how hard it is to do anything and find any motivation. You're even going to get to the point where you... All the laughing you do when you get high, all the giggling and all that, you're going to realize without the weed, you can't even do that on your own anymore. Those endorphins and all that stuff that makes you joyful, it's all going to start disappearing. And you're going to feel the pain behind your eyes. The second that TAC actually starts to leave your body, because it takes a little bit of time, especially if you smoke every day, it can take up to 90 days, right? And that weed slowly leaves your body for the next month and a half. You're going to realize, dang, it's actually hard to be I don't really laugh at anything anymore. I, I can barely eat. I can barely sleep. I can't even find motivation to go outside. Why am I so paranoid? Why do I feel so anxious? <sighs> Why is my chest so tight? I feel like I'm about to... Oh, yeah. That's what I don't want for you guys. I don't make this stuff because I care about... I don't want people getting high. I make this video because if you get high every day to escape reality, it will come back to bite you. What kind of life is that where you're escaping reality? Like I said, if you replace marijuana with any other drug, people would call it a problem. But they kind of, because marijuana is so strong now, back in the day, flour, maybe 15% at the highest. You can still buy marijuana from 5 to 10%, right? Especially hybrid stuff. But marijuana now, you can if you buy a, a cart, a cart can be up in the 90% TAC. It's so heavily concentrated. A dab, a dab can be anywhere from, uh, honestly, down from 50%, but anywhere from 60% to 85% concentrated TAC. And flour up to these days can get up to 30% if you buy real concentrated flour. It's different. When you're that high all the time smoking all these carts, it's going to have an effect on your brain. And people don't want to, People really want to be able to use drugs without consequences. And I'm here to tell you, there's always going to be consequences. Even if pills or let's say pills or anything are supposed to be helping you. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. Because some things you take are supposed to alleviate pain, right? Alleviate pain, alleviate anxiety, depression, and all this other stuff. You know, I understand that. But it does come at a cost. It does. Getting high every single day, every chance you get to avoid everything, it's going to come at a cost. Your brain is going to get used to that, especially when you're smoking a bunch of carts. And eventually, you're not going to be able to live without it. You're going to find out real quick when the weed runs out, how panicky you get. There's a reason for that. Your body's going to fiend for it. Your body's going to fiend for it. If you're smoking weed every day to get high for fun, and I think what ends up, I want to say this right quick. There are people who do get high for fun. There's young teenagers and all that who get high just for fun. 
What ends up happening though? Sorry, let me scoot over. What ends up happening though is the anxiety does come. When you're getting high just for fun every single day, there's gonna come a day where you're gonna think you actually need the weed now. Because what ends up happening, you get manipulated. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. You get into the stoner community, they're gonna start making you think you always need it. They're gonna tell you you need to always be high. You Being high opens your eyes to a different world. You can see everything differently. They're gonna start telling you that you need weed in order to be your true self. You need weed to make it. You need weed to get by. You need to be high every second of every day in order for you to really be yourself because people who aren't high, us people who are sober, uh, we don't see the world the same. We see the world completely different. We don't understand the, the colors. We don't understand the universe. We don't understand all this nonsense. It ain't true. I'm telling you, I've been high and I was super high. I didn't even smoke flour when I started smoking weed. Well, when I started smoking weed, I smoked flour. But the vast majority of my time when I was smoking weed, TAC, I smoked carts and dabs. So I was always smoking the heavily concentrated stuff. Always. And I thought the same thing. My third eye was open. Now, I don't believe in the third eye, but I'm just using an example. But my, 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 my newness was, it's all there. I see the world differently. I'm telling you, as a person who went from getting high sun up to sun down every single day of every every single day i was never not high and i used to take pride in that but i'm telling you the person who's been sober now and a person who had to go through all the panic attacks all the anxiety right all the sleep at uh, it's not sleep apnea but insomnia all the not being able to eat all the uh not being able to all the disorientation that comes with anxiety going through all the stress i went through all of that and i didn't smoke any weed no tsc no hemp no pills no cbd no melatonin nothing nothing no ssris i didn't have jack to get through this anxiety i did it with just me and i'm telling you it is not worth getting high every single day from sun up to sun down it is going to affect you and i can also tell you I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a smart guy, but I'm certainly not dumb. Okay. I've been through college. I went through honors college. I have worked and this isn't just, oh, I went to college. So I think I'm smarter than everybody. I have worked at jobs where I was the number one agent. I've worked at jobs where I got promoted. I've been promoted multiple times at jobs because I just have a good intellect. And that's not me saying I'm just great at it. I had a great, my parents were very smart. I grew up at a great school, okay, so I happen to know how to learn these things. I went to a prestigious private college. I learned how to learn. So my intellect is up there. Not, not, not because, oh, I'm just a better person. That's just I was blessed to have a family that allowed me to have these opportunities to give me the ability to think well, right? So I, not having smoked weed all this time, I am telling you, when I was smoking weed versus when I was not smoking weed and I was high all the time, I can think much better not high. I tell you, when I listen to people who speak who are always high, these people who think they sound so intellectual, we, we're gonna watch some videos later. Y'all know I smoke hemp, I smoke CBD, and y'all see how, I want y'all to notice how I still talk, and I want y'all to watch the people who are getting high in the videos I show y'all. I'm not making fun of these people, we're still having a good time, right but i want y'all to think how intellectual they think they really sound when they're high they really think that they're on some profound stuff but they're not it has been proven that your iq goes down when you're high it goes down it doesn't go up you don't think on a higher level it, your iq goes down okay but people really think that they're thinking on a different level because they're high all the time. You're not. As much as it, it, your brain is fooling you into believing this. And the stoner community will lie to you and really make you think that you're thinking on a different level than everybody. You're really not. You're really not. I'm tell and I'm like I said, I'm saying this from a man who uses I love to think. I'm always thinking. Y'all see how I get into these live streams. I can talk forever. I think a lot. But I'm telling you, when I was high all the time, it is a world different of how my mind works. I thought I sounded smart when I was high. I thought I was all this when I was high. I thought I saw the world differently. And I've used 
weed i've used mushrooms i've used acid i've used the lsds i thought all this stuff made me so different oh i'm thinking so different now you know you're not i'm not like i said i want to say this one more time i'm not against people who get high every now and then i understand sometimes it's for chronic pain i understand it's for some people maybe their mental health is just out of this world but just don't be fooled into this belief that you have to be high every second of every day to live life because you don't regular people have anxiety regular people are scared to die regular people get stressed out regular people don't want to go into the next day because they're afraid they can't pay the bills regular people have kids that they're they're trying to figure out regular people have their cars break down and they can't fix it we go through regular life just because you get high every day and you can't deal with it doesn't mean us people who don't get high are, are, are just oh man we just have this perfect life and you have the worst anxiety on the planet i promise you more than likely there is somebody who has mental health issues that are worse than you I'm not here to knock people who have mental health, but a lot of the people I see in the stoner community, they do the same thing. They inflate their anxiety as the worst anxiety that anybody could ever have. I know people who don't get high and their anxiety is crippling. I know a lady right now, when you talk to her, her anxiety is so bad she can't even stop fidgeting. I'm not talking about fidgeting like this, like playing with a toy. I'm talking about, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I, I have anxiety. I mean, it's just, out of this world she is terrified of life but she goes to work and she does not get high and she still takes care of her kids i understand anxiety really sucks panic attacks they effing suck wanting thinking about taking your life and having all those bad thoughts and those intrusive thoughts i had them okay i get it okay when i've gotten onto streams i have freaked out i have made live streams freaking out thinking i want to die thinking i am dying i've had panic attacks on camera i get it but it doesn't it doesn't mean you need to get high every day it is just life it's gonna suck and that's just something we all have to deal with that life is gonna suck it ain't gonna be perfect getting high makes you think that life has to be perfect all the time so you keep getting high to keep that false reality of i need to be high 24 7 it is a lie okay you don't live learn to live life for real and learn to allow life to suck i'm gonna say this one last one. life is hard i've gone through stuff you've gone through stuff but we make it through and people in our lives go through way worse stuff i'm a very blessed man i know I got both of my limbs. I have the ability to think. I have both my legs. I have a house. I have a car. There's people who don't have all these things. There are people who don't have certain limbs. There's people who have a hard time thinking, right? There's people who, who have been through a tragedy. At some point, they were living regular life, and now they're paralyzed. There's people who go through, who go through ish, and there's people who don't get high anyway. So if they don't get high, why, can't, why do we have to get high? It's not always necessary. We can't run from our problems for the rest of our lives. You can't. I remember, and I'm gonna shut up after this story. I remember being really high, sitting in my room, being really high. I tell the story all the time. In the dark, I can remember it like yesterday, sitting against my bedpost, looking up, looking at the, all the lights, and I'm super high at this point. And I remember thinking the thought, I want to die. And at that point, I remember I told myself, I am never not going to be high because I wanted to die that night. And I told myself, I am never not going to be high again. And for what, what, what turned into a year and a half, two years of never, not a single second. If I my eyes were open, I was high. And what I realized when I finally stopped using that weed, all those problems are still there nothing changed being high all the time didn't make oh man now my life is perfect because i can deal with everything no honestly what ended up happening i couldn't deal with anything you think you can be a productive stoner and that's that's the that's the buzzword that gets thrown around oh i'm a productive stoner no you need to be stoned to be productive that's the difference being a productive member of society and having to be stoned to be a productive member of society 
it's not the same thing. I'm sorry to break it to you. It's not. Just because you can go do stuff while you're high, you can do the laundry and go to work and live life. Guess what? A lot of people can do that. A lot of people can do the laundry and go to work and not be high. Doesn't make you a productive person high. It just means you have to be high to be productive. And that's not a good thing. Just think about it. Peace.